All right, let's look at increasing and decreasing functions. The more you know about the graph of a function, the more you know about the function itself. When reading a graph, always read from left to right. Some functions increase everywhere. Some functions decrease everywhere. Some functions don't do either. Look at section 1, 1 with regard to lines. However, some functions increase on certain intervals and decrease on others. Let's look at some pictures. Notice at the two points there, it's neither increasing nor decreasing. However, when we put in some more arrows, we find that it's increasing on two different intervals. In other words, the function is growing on those two intervals. We also have this function decreasing. Notice how the y values are getting less as we move between the two yellow arrows. So here's our formal definition. A function is increasing if when x1 is less than x2, the f of x1 is less than f of x2. Notice the definition for decreasing. Notice the definition for constant. A horizontal line is one of those constant functions. So f of x, notice, is constant or is changing from increasing to decreasing or vice versa at those two points. Those are very significant points for later. Notice here, as x increases, f of x increases. That's our definition that we're looking at on this situation. Notice here, on this line, as x increases, f of x decreases. Again, we have a decreasing function. Now, when we get to calculus, we're going to get a great algebraic technique for doing this, calculus technique. But for right now, about the only way we can do it is to graph the function, read the graph, and approximate the points. It's not the best, but it'll work.